Hey everyone, this is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be putting together the start of my journal for February using Tracy Reed's new collection called Smitten. I absolutely love it. It is definitely perfect for February with all the wonderful die cuts and the overall color scheme. So for my journaling, I kind of changed it up this year and I'm going to combine the currently page with the monthly like header page, I guess you could say. So on this right hand side, I'm going to do February with the stickers from Everyday Explorers and then use a bunch of die cuts. And how ridiculously cute is that mail truck? I just, I love it. So that is kind of my focal die cut and I'll use a bunch of other die cuts spread throughout, but I just love the idea of a mail truck and love letters and it's perfect. I'll put some washi tape right below it so that way it kind of anchors down the February and also the die cut. I add in another little love note and a banner that says love. And over on the left hand side is where I will put the currently and then the other little currently um kind of topics that I want to write about this month using Everyday Explorer stamps. Up in the top left corner, I use a little banner. I mean, there's so many great die cuts in Tracy's kits. It's just, it's the best. I'm going to go ahead and set up some of my stamps. That way I know where I want them. I know the currently is going to go right in the center and I found another one that says right now. So I put that over on the right hand side and I'll stamp that in a little bit. The, um, the journal is like just starting out so I got to kind of lift it up so that way I can stamp it and get like enough pressure on it. It still didn't turn out as great as I would have wanted but that's okay. Right next to the currently I'm going to do a cluster of die cuts with Love in Bloom, a really pretty bright pink flower on the left hand side and then a different kind of flower on the right. Now I'll start figuring out the placement for the differently different uh, currently prompts and I decide on currently crazy about this eating reading exploring and making and also watching and I am going to make a cluster down in the bottom right and I wind up in the end putting watching and exploring like too close together I think but I'm just going to have to make it work once I stamp it and I think overall it's going to turn out to be a really great page to keep track of all the currently's going on. I lo love having these currently pages so that way it helps when I'm doing memory keeping or family stories or anything like that and it's just fun to have some have this looking back at the end of the year. So I will stamp currently and all the rest of the ones that I want and then add the like bullet points that I need. Last month for January, I did kind of more the mind map design where I did lines connecting each prompt to the currently. I'm not going to do that this time. I'll just do a list. And instead of like a circle for the bullet point, I am going to do a heart because I thought, of course, that is very on theme. I had a die cut down at the bottom that says currently loving, but I'm going to wind up moving that over to the bottom of the right hand page, like below the blue washi tape, just because I felt like that would work better since I felt like it clashed a little bit with um, the currently prompts and I couldn't really fit the currently loving stamp down in that corner just because it would be too cluttered. So I am going to do a really fun um, mix of die cuts down in the bottom right corner. I've got the story of today, which gives me a little bit more blue in the bottom, and also another mail truck die cut that says love notes and a donut because donuts are my weakness, absolutely my weakness. <laughs> and uh, then I will go ahead and stamp with a few different heart stamps. I just showed you the stamp set from Everyday Explorers. I believe it was from one of their mini kits but it has hearts in it and a sentiment that says double tap and also love. And to make it easier on myself, I drew some lines for each of the places where I'm going to have a heart. That way 
I keep things straight because that's always my problem too. Sometimes even though these have dot grids, these journals have dot grids, it can be hard for me to keep things straight. So it's easier if I draw the lines. Now up here on crazy about this, I kind of got the lines too close together. Whoops, but you know, just gonna have to go with it. And I also really like including the currently eating prompt because I don't take a lot of pictures of our food. I don't keep track of our food that often. So it's kind of fun to intentionally write down like what we're eating or new things we're trying or really just anything to do with food. I'm glad that I have that prompt there. <laughs> That's my point. Okay, so I am finishing up with the stamping of the hearts and I add one more section to crazy about this and I make sure to not put the lines so close together. Now I will use that stamp set a little bit more to add in the other phrases that I wanted. I wanted another phrase on the other side of February, the left-hand side, so I put double tap. I decided to put one above the currently but got it a little too close to the C and I will tell you that sometimes it's good to just let things go and that is one thing that I just let go. I could have stamped currently on another piece of paper, fussy cut it out and added it, but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go. Um, and then I stamped some pink hearts and some blue hearts and also the little phrase that says love. And it's like in a cute little box. So I just love that. I always feel like I don't have a lot of lovey stamps. So when I saw this stamp in my stash, I was happy to use it again. And I am almost finished with this page. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.